Previously on Keeping Up With The Joneses, the big wet returned to the outback. There's some pretty wild storms here in December. The Jones boys prepared for a coolie bar Christmas. Yeah, I'm so excited. As the arrival of Christina's new baby drew closer. If it decided to come early, I guess I would call on our biggest chopper. <laughs> in this episode... You sit up here. OK. The newest Jones is about to arrive. Quickly. We'll be taking an extra person home, I think. But where on earth is milk? Yeah, I'm going to get these cattle out of here, otherwise I'll end up starving. As the heavens open... Too much rain, too much rain. There'll be hell to pay. I don't think I'm going to get up there, hey? If he misses the moment, the new Jones enters the world. There is a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> this is what I do. 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 over at Cooley Bar. And everyone's looking forward to a bit of time off. Yeah, we just like relaxing a bit more than anything, day eh, sometimes, but it's all right for a day or two, but one day it's about enough for me. Oh, we're just having a barbecue tonight, just for a change. <laughs> Trev the cook still has a few mouths to feed during the holidays. There's only going to be uh, probably four people here to cook for it anyway. Plus myself, that's five, so... Nah, just another day for us. That's the best in that part. We need the bottom over there. It's fragile. Is it? Soon there'll be one Perfect. more at the table. How do you know it's fragile? I Christina heads to Brisbane today for the You're impending birth of her new baby. It's for two babies, Mark. The part? baby on top goes there and the baby at the bottom goes here. <laughs> Little Milton hasn't quite worked out how his new brother or sister will fit in. I think he'll be over the moon. I've tried to make it that he's got to show it everything. You know, so he's the big brother. I don't think he quite understands that mm -hmm. part of it yet. Right, now, come on, you're going to get in? Okay. I'll put the hood on, Mum. All right, poor little baby. Keep the sun off the little baby. Yeah, get in there. There he is. Stuff him <laughs> in. In all the excitement, Dad's overlooked one very important job. There he is. Well, I've got to pick the name, apparently. I got a, it's, it's up to me to name it, whether it's a boy or a girl. And I've sort of got a boy's name picked out, but I can't get my head around a girl's name yet. Somebody's sucking on something yummy in the back. Christina and Little Milton are on their way to the airport. Yeah, I'm getting excited. Big Milton will follow her tomorrow, but she's worried he might miss the bird. Well, one would hope not. But if I know Milton, there is a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> I'll just move a few cattle off the river. It's been raining again, and the Victoria River's on the rise. Yeah, big water, eh? The big's coming right up here. The rising in the water and the creeks, and, you know, that's a, that's a threat here all the time. Take these to the river bank, and I'll put them back across this billabong, eh? The water's rising. Fast. And this mob of cattle is about to be stranded. Yeah, I've got to get these cattle out of here, otherwise that bloody this water will get around behind them. They'll, they'll end up starving. If Milton can't get the cattle to higher ground, he could lose them. I'll get down low on the river here. I've got to sort of stay back and do it. Nobody knows what's to be done here but me. I'll get this finished today and then straight up to down in the morning and on the plane and take Christina to the hospital tomorrow. Put these through the gate here, and then I'll land and chop one, me. Are you going to be able to take this one? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, maybe that one. Pop up. While Milton completes his rescue mission... You might have to turn around, mightn't you? Christina's arrived in Brisbane for the caesarean birth of their second child. Mum, don't stop. You ought to stop, OK? All right. It seems like she's still carrying her first child. Why? Big bus one. I'll say a bit quicker, won't it? Empty. Empty. It is exciting, I guess. It's this time um, we'll be taking an extra person home, I think. It'd be strange. 
Just ask, wave it down, stop it. That's it. You got it. Christina's on the way to her mum's. As for the little bloke... How would you like to be dropped? I want to get dropped off at the moon, Mum. Uh-huh. See what happens. But there's only enough fuel to get to Nana's. Yeah, just go in that driveway, not this driveway, the next one behind that van. I'm out for that door. Good. I just have a microphone on me. Have you? No, no. It's right under my shirt. Tomorrow, Big Milton and the new baby should arrive. How are you going? Hi. <laughs> Hopefully in that order. No, he'd never miss it. He'd make sure he was here. He put stones everywhere. No, Jar's going to be upset. Geez, I hope I can get there. Look at this rain. All right, I'll catch you. I can't talk, mate. I've got to go. The next Battle. morning, Milton's finally on his way to Christina in Brisbane. Big day, eh? Big day. No, I'll be there to help Christina, eh? So I'll be supporting her, eh? And, yeah, just be with Christina and help her. I can't miss the birth. I'll be in all sorts of trouble. Milton will fly his chopper to Darwin, and then it's on a plane to Brisbane for the birth. I'm cutting it pretty fine between now and when I get to Darwin. about to mess with Milton's plans. Coming out of Cooley Bar, I don't think I'll bloody. You know, I haven't got much visibility here, eh? Too much rain, too much rain. Milton has flown slap bang into a monsoon. Geez, I was supposed to be there at 11 o'clock to catch that plane. I hope I can get the... Closed in around me everywhere. To go round it or throw it, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get up there, eh? Bloody hell. I don't think I'm going to get through this storm here. Might have to get back off out of it. I'm not looking real flash. Milton's flown into the teeth of the storm. Will I get to Darwin? I might miss this plane. It's too much rain. Pull me, eh? I'm going to have to land here. I'll ring the office and tell them I can't make the plane. Land here, look. Oh, what well, I've been going around all the way, I'll be out of fuel if I keep going around it. Half an hour to get there. I don't think I'll get there. Bloody hell. Ah, uh, yeah, well, not much I can do about it, eh? If I'm not there, I'm not there. Just, oh, I just have to sit this bastard out, eh? If the weather doesn't live, he'll miss the bird with his new son or daughter. On the other side of the country, on your marks, get set, go! Maybe, Little maybe. Milton's keeping busy in Brisbane. Look out below! As the time approaches for Christina Cesare. Whoa! Okay, pull up at the driveway. I'm not listening. You need to practice before Dad comes. The new baby is due, That's but there's really still bad. no sign of Big Milton. I think he'd be disappointed, yeah. Well, as long as he's here for when the baby's born. That's all that matters. Christina can relax, the weather's clear, and Milton's made his flight to Brisbane. Just. I was lucky to catch the plane. I left Cooley Bar and there's all those monsoons are starting to roll in and I had to land, take off a few times, big rain there on the way up to Darwin. But we're right, we're here, so that's the main thing, eh? But Milton's not there yet. Outback storms are one thing, city streets. Well, that's just plain scary. Oh, I'd get bushed in the city quick, me. I know the river's that way. I've got to keep remembering you've got to use your blinkers down here. <laughs> bushed already. Bushed! <laughs> Lost! Which way? Sing out to some bar seal, nowhere to go. Here, look! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Oh, day, how you mum? <laughs> Milton eventually finds his family. Mm. Oh, he's a little sick man. Hey, little man. You been waiting for me or what? Oh, what have you been doing? Mm. Mum gonna have a little baby or what? Mm. You been missing me? It's a happy reunion. Gotta get you, Si. 
Night time. Sada. When the expectant dad is still struggling. There you go. How's that? With some unfinished business. What are we going to call it if it's a little girl? I've got a couple of names picked out. Don't know whether Christina will like them or not, but... He wants to call it Christina. <laughs> Does he? We can't. You can't have <laughs> Milton and Christina. <laughs> Hospital. I actually feel a bit sick today. We've got to switch these phones off or what? Maybe you've got to turn them off, do you? It's pretty excited. Yeah, I'm getting excited, <laughs> yeah. Christina's chosen a caesarean birth because Coolibar is so remote. Couldn't possibly go into labour at Coolibar and get to the medical attention that you'd need. I mean, you wouldn't run the risk. Yeah, yeah I think she's settled in now. A bit fluffy there to start with, but she's right. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, say bye, bye, Mum. See you, darling. I'll see you in a minute. Say, see you, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Righto. Good luck, babe. Righto, we're out of here. We'll call you, yeah. okay? Good on you. Thank you. Nine months of waiting and over. In the next hour, a brand new judge will enter the world. Oh, no, we're getting closer. What do you reckon, Mum, going to have a little boy or girl? Hi. The Jones boys are waiting for the newest member of their family to arrive. We have a baby. I am so mad, so mad, so mad. Yeah, he's wondering what's going on. I still think it's a boy, but anyway, it'd be a surprise if it's a girl, eh? Yeah, another little person in the world, eh? Christina's under a general anaesthetic for her cesarean. You think Milton's nervous? Pretty dangerous business, just getting the bloody knocked out and everything. Bit frightening, isn't it? For a man used to taking charge, the hardest thing is sitting around. I never like waiting much, but anyway, have to. As long as it's healthy, it's the main thing. You're still waiting? Yeah. <laughs> you want to go in there and have a look, don't you? Come on. Half an hour past the expected delivery time, and still no word. Starting to worry me a bit now. Christina's mum, Glenda, is also feeling the strain. It's a bit nerve wracking. It's got to be nearly done now. I reckon I can hear it. Is that a baby? Finally, the waiting and the worrying are over. Congratulations. Well, no, no worries. Father, like. son. <laughs> is it? Yeah, another one. Yeah, Good on well you. <laughs> So good. good. Where's young Milton? He's here. He's good. So mum's going to be awake in a minute. You'll be able to go down and see her. Well, there you go. Too good, eh? Yeah, you'll be right. Thank you. I'll come and get you in a minute. Yeah, right. right on. Good on you. Okay. Very good. Well, there we go. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a boy. Hey, that was good odds, wasn't it? <laughs> you want to come in with me when we go and see it? <laughs> He's all sad for his mother, this fella. Don't fret, little man. Oh, well, how about that? Everything's good. Mum and your seven pound, two ounce Everything's baby brother good. are doing great. Little Ripper. Good, he's strong already, isn't he, eh? Moving his head around. Good, he's little, isn't he, eh? It's the best Christmas present ever. A few champagnes with Christmas lunch now. <laughs> So, about that name, Milton. Mil uh, Jack, Stanley Knight, we're going to call him. No, I think Jack Jones is a good name. Mum hasn't even had a good look at him yet. Yeah. Jack Jones. Look at that. Eh? Hey? Tiny little thing. I thought he would have been bigger. Look at his hands beside yours. Me. Oh, you meanie. Really, really gentle, darling. Really, really gentle. Where's you? Gotta be gentle, Mum said. Now, don't forget. I, I saw some teeth of his. Has he got teeth, though? There, he hasn't got teeth. Yes, he has. Where? What colour eyes he got? Blue. 
They go brown, don't they? Mm. Oh, yeah. Looks like a little jack too, doesn't it? Pretty looking like me, eh? <laughs> here and here is what a little, that's what they look like. But someone's not so sure about the changes of the Joneses' household. Mm, your job to take the dirty nappies away, remember? <laughs> Everybody's healthy. Can't be much happier than that. I can't wait to get home. Two sons to worry about now, not one. Yeah. The Joneses, all four of them, are on their way to Coolibar. Right, I'm going home. But there's one last obstacle. How high is that river, Andrew? Just below five, I think. And they're on the wrong side of it. Almost home, but not quite, eh? I expected the river to be up. Um, it's pretty pretty common practice this time of the year, so... The newest Jones will have to wait for his first glimpse of home. Did you learn yet about travelling? <laughs> you can't scream the whole way? Of course, at Cooley Bar, there's one way to get around almost any problem. I'm going in that one, in the chopper. That's first chopper flight for him, yeah. Bloody draft here, I think. Take the physical beauty for granted. We'll get across the river here, Christina. We'll get him on. Not a bad way to make an entrance. Righto, we're nearly there. Not too far now. Jack Jones won't remember, but everyone else will never forget. It's just so nice to be home. <laughs> Sit down now. Sit. Good boy. Where are you going, mate? This is home. I think he wants to come back, go back where he came from, but we'll be right. The newborn might be the centre of attention. What's in here? Oh my god! Oh, way down. What's that? Raven! But Big Brother hasn't been forgotten. Oh, you're right. Here, look, what's under here? What's that? Motorbike! Oh my <laughs> goodness! That's why it was a big present. <laughs> Well, there you go. Sandra is so smart, isn't she? Yeah. Shot sure it spoiled, isn't it? Woohoo! Look at that. She's a goer. Well, one Jones is definitely glad to be home. Can you help me open it? Little brother might take a bit longer to settle in. Yeah, I wouldn't say that they've bonded yet, but um, he said he's a cute little fella yesterday. So that's a good sign. This is your home. Have a look around. Hey, this is where you're going to live. Oh, yeah, it's bloody hitch in the heart, doesn't it, eh? New life. Yeah, no, all good. But young Jack's not the only new baby boy at Cooley Bar. I think I'll call him Jack's cat. <laughs> Christina's mare gave birth to her son at the same time as little Jack came into the world. Hopefully, she's as excited about mine as I am about hers, that's for sure. It'll be a while before the foal's ready for a saddle. But there's one little bloke around these parts who's always up for a wild ride. Jesus Christ, he looks like a Viking. <laughs> Hop on our big head. You know how the throttle works on this? It just goes slow first, eh? Here I go, mate. Come on, cowboy. <laughs> Big Milton keeps his four-year-old on a short leash. Bloody hell. <laughs> but Mum is starting to question Santa's choice of present. Slow down, Milton, stop. Slow down. He's right. Stop, Milton. All right, I've got it. Not you, him. Like his father. He doesn't Little Milton's in a big hurry. Until. Oh, he's there. He'll have a few more of them yet, don't worry. <laughs> Just about died, especially when he was going flat out and heading straight for a tree. 
Thankfully, baby Jack's in safer hands. Yeah, bonny little kid, ain't ya? Yeah, we're talking about you. Yeah. Yep, that's Trev the cook, showing he does have a gentle side. Well, as long as he doesn't grow up like his old man, he'd be fine. Well, maybe not. <laughs> the motorbikes, you got to keep an eye on them, mate. So as little Jack's first day at Cooley Bar comes to a close... Hey, little Jack, nothing like being home, mate. There have been some yeah. big changes. Three men in my life now, so hopefully one out of three will be running after me at some stage. <laughs> three, hey! Well, he's the little Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, three, 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 three. <laughs> little Jack. <laughs> this is what the young nipper <laughs> has to look for. Megan, you can get it through the gate. On the road a bit. Teach them a few skills when they're young and they're half safe anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's work, I think, is get in or get out. You're going to get on one or one? No way. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the place, but it's just, it's just a feeling. He got him. Oh. oh, yeah, they grow up real quick, don't they, eh? Gang up and Dad, yeah, that's what'll happen. <laughs> yep, it takes a bit to keep up with those chances. There's never a dull moment here. You need a jack. I always wanted to have four boys. Two's a good start. Yeah.